can you just naturally look at people to like yeah. make your point? Right, <laughs> right. So that'll take some practice. Yeah. <laughs> I want my cool wave brakes. Now some tips on looking for repaints on cars and bodywork is do the fenders match the hood? Do the doors match the quarter panel? Do the doors match the roof? If they don't match, if they're a shade or two off, that car's been painted. Look for orange peel. Orange peel comes from the factory. If you look at your car's paint, you'll notice it has, it, and the sun hits it, it looks like an orange. Just like an outside of an orange. It's got a little rough texture to it. If you've got a paint job that's smoother than a baby's butt, it's probably been repainted because they don't come out of the body shop with any orange peel in them. They have a very specific um, look to them. They're very sleek. They're very shiny. And they don't have orange peel because they don't need it. Um, there's an agent added in paint in the factory to make sure no fish eyes come up. And that's what gives it that orange peel look. So factory paint's always going to have that. If you don't have that, you got an aftermarket paint job. Now one of the other things you can do is open the doors, open the hood, open the trunk. Run your hand along that edge. If all the edges on your doors and your trunk and your hood feel nice and smooth like the outside of the car, this is what's going on never been in a crash. If you run your hand along there and you notice the paint looks a little dull and it gets sandpapery, you can feel the sandpaper feeling, that's been repainted. That's overspray that gets down in the cracks because it wasn't prepped properly, which is a big telltale sign that it's been painted again. Another thing you want to do when you're looking at a used car, make sure all the tires are the same one. Just because they're round, black, and they hold air doesn't mean that they're the same tires. You can walk around that car, sometimes you got a different car, a different tire in the front of the car than the back of the car. And guess what? You need to tell them, I'm not buying a used car with two kind of different kinds of tires on here. That's going to drive terrible. You don't want to drive terrible. You want a nice, smooth ride. Some of you guys are going to buy nice used cars. I'm talking about a used car that's 40, 50,000. That's a used car nowadays. I know. Don't fall over. I'll wait till you stand back up before I start talking again. Okay, now that you're up and you can hear me again. Yes, forty or fifty thousand dollars on a used car. This is not unheard of. Your new trucks are seventy and eighty thousand dollars. So make sure when you're gonna plunk down that kind of cash that you've had it looked at. You don't want to buy something where you're in the shop every other week and they say, uh, that's not covered on the warranty. Sorry for your bad luck. Because I know some of you, you'll be up there wanting to punch somebody in their nose. That ain't going to do nothing but get you two days in jail and a big fat fine. So stay away from the law dog bite. You don't want to get bit by the dog. Now, one of the things we're going to talk about also with these used cars is when you're purchasing a used car, get inside the car and close the doors up and sit. See what you smell. Some of these cars come from the floods down there in Florida and all that bad stuff, man, they'll ship them suckers up here, put them on the auction, sell them that fast, you're in that car for five minutes with no AC going, and all of a sudden you're like, hmm, smells like somebody is carving fish up in here for dinner last night. And it's got a very distinctive smell, and you'll know. It's gross. Take the spare tire out of the trunk. Look underneath the floor mat of the trunk and make sure that there's not water standing in there or not a lot of moisture or a lot of rust marks. You don't want that car. That's a bad deal. And also when you're buying a car, speaking of the spare tire, make sure it's got one. If you look in the trunk of your car, you may not see a spare tire. We've got a lot of customers who come in here and check the car. Hey, look, spare tire's supposed to be right there. No spare tire. You gotta make sure this stuff's in there. Make sure that you're looking for all the stuff that's supposed to be in your car. Also make sure you get an owner's manual with your car. If they don't have one, you make sure they get you one. I want my cool wave breaks. All right, tonight's show brought to you by AP Cigar. And you're going to go see Mike Weller over there. He has a top line of cigars that are second to none. If you ain't getting your cigar from Mike, you're doing it wrong. So check out the number at the bottom of the screen and give him a call. Another sponsor tonight, MrTaillight.com. He's in Edison, Ohio. You want to go check him out. You want to see Steve. Tell Steve I sent you. The number's at the bottom of the screen here. Give him a call. He's got all your body parts, light kits, tail lights. And soon to come, he's even going to have some of these awesome cool wave brakes. 
All right, that's all we got time for tonight at this episode of Dove Tech Talks. Uh